Brace yourselves, listeners, inside the glitzy courtroom drama surrounding Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, there are twists and tensions you wouldn't believe. Welcome to Hear the Web. I'm Tom. And I'm Lily. Excited to dig into the charges, pleas, and legal defense maneuvers that are whipping up a storm in the media today. This morning, Hunter Biden found himself under the federal court's microscope, pleading not guilty to three very serious firearms charges, despite his legal team's initial plan of a plea deal. That's right, Tom. His lawyer, Abby Lowell, sealed the not guilty plea. But let's note, Biden's request to appear via video was slapped down. It felt like the court communicated a very clear message. No special treatment here. Yes, Lily. And to add another layer of complexity, this case plays out in parallel to the political theater of the upcoming 2024 presidential election, pushing the Biden family further into the public eye. What's more intriguing is the charges themselves, Tom. Two of them accuse Biden of lying about his use of narcotics when he bought a firearm in Delaware in 2018. The third maintains he had a gun whilst using drugs. And aside from the gun charges, there's an ongoing investigation into Biden's alleged tax evasion, too. Think about it. His initial plea deal to a deferral program for a single gun count shattered once the terms of the agreement came under question from the presiding judge. Right, Tom. And now an air of resilience seems to be creeping into Biden's defense, with his attorney claiming they plan to fight the gun charges, citing constitutional grounds. A pivot strategy for sure, which even includes legal blows aimed at the Internal Revenue Service, Rudy Giuliani, and former Trump aide Garrett Ziegler. Meanwhile, potent charges linked to Biden's taxes could emerge within the coming month. Meanwhile, Republicans are raising questions, Tom, about Hunter Biden's treatment by the Justice Department throughout the investigation. They also launched an impeachment inquiry into President Biden, probing his son's business dealings for potential proofs of misconduct. Amidst all this, the White House remains resolute in its denial of the president's involvement in his son's case or business activities. With such a whirlwind of claims, counterclaims, and courtroom drama, we can only wait and watch how this intriguing and politically charged case pans out. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Hear the Web. I'm Lily. And I'm Tom. Tune in next time for more comprehensive and captivating coverage of the world's most impactful stories. Until then, goodbye.